Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, channel update and uh, let you know something I've been doing here in my training lately. Um, as far as a channel update, as you can probably tell by the uh, by the surroundings, fall is uh, in full effect here in upstate New York. Leaves are really, you know, colorful right now. And uh, you guys will have to excuse me being a tad out of breath here. I'm uh, I'm hitting a about a two mile climb near my home pretty hard. Well, not really hard, but I'm hitting it at tempo this afternoon, so. But I wanted to discuss something with you guys here. Um, as far as my training, and that is uh, basically I've been working on my, uh, my efficiency and my economy. Now what I mean by that is, the last couple of weeks, I've been experimenting with, you know, hard in the saddle effort, hard in the saddle efforts compared to hard out of the saddle efforts. Now, as I've told you guys in other vlogs, um, you know, I just have, I don't know if it's a unique ability, but I have an ability to hold considerably more power out of the saddle than I can in the saddle. And I can hold, I can ride out of the saddle for really long periods of time. But uh, what I've been experimenting with is, you know, kind of seeing what is actually faster on certain, uh, you know, segments here of my training courses. I've been experimenting to see what's, what's faster putting out, you know, considerably more power out of the saddle, but in a much less aerodynamic position, or putting out less power, but being much more efficient in my body positioning on the bike, in my ability to cut through the wind. And uh, what I've kind of, I guess kind of the long, to make a long story short, the one kind of generalization I found in doing these intervals is that essentially the higher the speed of the effort, the more favorable it's going to be to be in the saddle. Whereas basically the slower the effort is, example, you know, a 15, 20% graded hill where you're going like five miles an hour at, at max effort. In those situations, it's actually more efficient and faster to ride with higher peak power as opposed to trying to focus on economy. Whereas it seems like on the higher speed intervals or segments, whatever you want to call them, on those higher speed intervals, you actually want to be focusing more on economy. Like, I got a little uh, segment here near the house. It's about a half mile segment, about a six minute long segment. And what I found at, what I found is, like I can hold, it's like a 18, 20 mile an hour segment. And what I found is that I'm actually faster going through there with a little bit less power in the saddle, but being, you know, tucked down really low into my hoods or in the drops and staying very streamlined, very aerodynamic with a higher cadence. I found it's actually faster going through there with less power and focusing more on efficiency and economy than to just go raging through there out of the saddle at, you know, 80 more watts, but being a lot less aerodynamically efficient. <coughs> so just something I want to, uh, talk with you guys here briefly on today's ride. I'm out on a hopefully like four hour endurance ride. I'm like six miles in right now, about 25 minutes into the ride, but uh, I wanted to just discuss this, this concept with you guys a little bit here today on the ride 
because it's something I've been kind of experimenting around with in my own training the last few weeks and something that I'm finding out is that you don't necessarily have to be putting out you don't necessarily want to be putting out the most absolute power possible you want to put out the most efficient power possible and that's going to depend on you know a lot of different factors you know such as speed of the course uh, terrain road surface wind is a big factor I mean if you're bucking a 20 mile an hour headwind you'll probably be a lot more efficient going through that at less power tucked in low then you're going to be you know up out of the saddle like a you know like a big kite you know getting hit with all that wind so just something I thought was worth sharing here in the channel something I've been you know experimenting around with trying to find you know what situations you know are, are better for you know focusing more on power output absolute power output for, for speed and conversely trying to find out which situations are better for just you know being more efficient and more economical where if you can go through a segment and be as fast you know in the saddle with higher efficiency if you can go through there as quick as you could do with a little higher power but being less efficient you can use that energy you saved later on in the course where you can put that to value so anyways guys just wanted to like I said just wanted to discuss this with you here today hopefully you guys can uh, you know find a find a tip or two in here that's worth exploring in your own training I'm getting towards the uh, top of the climb here and then I got about uh, hopefully another three and a half hours or so of uh, training for today it's a beautiful fall day here in upstate New York I took a couple hours off work early so I could get out and get a longer endurance ride in today they're calling for rain this weekend so I'll probably be uh, inside on the rollers tomorrow and Sunday but uh, anyways guys like I say in every video thanks for tuning in I appreciate all the support getting here in the channel and I look forward to seeing you guys right back here in my next video.